Hey guys, Tatiana Ward here with BeatFaceHoney.com and I thank you so much for joining me. So this is the second installment of my Halloween makeup. <clears throat> and this one goes out to my big sister, Sophia, who has been stalking me for like two months to do a Cleopatra look. Now, um... I don't know where she was going two months ago that she needed a Cleopatra look, but here you go, sis. Love you. The crazy and really interesting thing about Cleopatra is that we have no pictures of her. So we just go off of what we think we know. Um, I don't think that Cleopatra was a bronze gold, but that's that's the thing that's the beauty of it is that you really just have to go off of your imagination I'd like to think of the beautiful Cleopatra to be bronzy this gold statuesque type of woman um, but who knows so there's really no wrong way to go about doing Cleopatra makeup so this is my take on it and I really hope you guys enjoy it and if you care to learn how I did it stay tuned those of you who have been watching me for a while know that I really don't like to use liquid foundations and really uh, for no other reason than they are a mess to carry around. However, um, because of the look that I'm going for, I am going to use a liquid foundation. And it's just a cheap liquid foundation that I found at Rite Aid. I've been carrying it around for a while and like used it once, like last February or something. Um, <clears throat> But because this is just kind of stage makeup, it's not anything that I need to look like super flawless or anything, I'm going to use this liquid. And the reason for using the liquid is so that I can mix it with this gold color. I like to think of my Cleopatra being a bronzy gold. This product can be found, um, it's a Halloween product, and Maron is a trusted Halloween product unlike some other Halloween brands and you can just see it's really like a, a thick creamy kind of paste if you will and I'm just going to mix my foundation with that see it's all bronzy and good and I'm just putting that on with my finger. I am going to do something that I tell you guys never to do. But because this is Halloween makeup, um, we can go ahead and do it. I like to think of Cleopatra having uh, the strong, very strong black brow. And you should never, ever fill in your eyebrows with black, even if you have black hair. However, this is stage makeup, so we can do it. Just taking a black pencil, I'm going to outline just like I normally would to fill in my brow. Except this time, I'm going to take the extension way out and flick it. Voila. See how it's got a slight little arch there? Gonna line the top and I'm going to take a black eyeshadow to fill in the brow. And I'm going to take some of that gold cream and just put a dab of it on my finger and just cover my eye where I didn't get the makeup on all of the surface just make sure that it's all gold okay guys I'm back and as you can see I have done some schnazziness to my eye uh, and honestly I just kind of made this up now the lower part however I mean the shape here and doing this arch right here I kind of just did um, this right here however is an ancient Egyptian symbol and it's called the Eye of Horus, and it's a sign of, like, royal power and a uh, symbol of protection. So, uh, I'm not smart, by the way. I just kind of Googled that. 
And again, because it's a sign of royal power, uh, that's great for Cleopatra. She was royal and of power. I'm going to do the same on this eye. Taking my wet and well wet and wild gel liner and my little angled brush that I got from Michaels. I'm going to just line my eye like I always would. And I'm going to take the line. Um, normally I would wing it, but this time I'm just going to take it straight out. And now I'm going to connect the line with the bottom. So I'm going down into my lash line here and also in my water line. Okay, and now I'm going to extend that bottom line into a little point and carry that right up into that top eyeliner shape. We've got our little point, so now we can move on to the arch right here using the exact same brush and the exact same product the wet and wild gel liner I am going to start right in here at the tip of that point that we just made and I'm just making an arch that's a pretty rough outline but then I'll go in and just make it thicker and adjust it until I have it where I want it. Okay guys, and now for the Eye of the Horus. I'm going to take the same product, the Wet and Wild, Wet and Wild Gel Liner, and just lightly trace. Um, Now I'm really struggling and debating with which kind of lip I should go with. Uh, you could keep it really nude and simple. You could even cover your lips with this stuff and kind of outline it in maybe a dark brown. But I kind of want to go really extreme with it. So I think I'm going to put black lips on. I want to line my lips in black. Okay, now I'm going to take our face paint stuff. I put that on my lips. And I'm just going to fade the black into the gold. Just kind of working it into those corners. Okay guys, so that pretty much completes our Cleopatra slash Egyptian makeup. Um, I actually like it more than I thought I was going to. The other really crazy thing is that it really makes you think, I mean like how did they do that back then? Like. They must have had makeup artists. I know Cleopatra didn't, didn't sit there and do her own makeup. I really doubt it. But I just wonder, like there had to be somebody in the town that had all the materials and Cleopatra would beckon to come over and hook me up. So um, now I'm really curious about that. I think it's pretty neat. 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope some of you can use it. And I definitely hope that you become my friend on Facebook so when Halloween comes around, any of the Halloween looks that you see me do, if you duplicate it, just like any of my looks in general, if you duplicate them, I really want to see them. So you can tag me in your pictures and um, show off your work. So thanks so much for watching. As always, you can find a detailed list of products used on BeatFaceHoney.com in the blog section. There are links right down here to where you can find my Twitter, Facebook, and my blog. And um, thank you guys so much. I will see you soon.